Hi everyone, Vincenzo here with a new episode of Yugi Rocks, a series of ukulele tutorials on some of the best rock riffs of all time. So if you like me, you want to rock out on the ukulele, you can't miss this one. Today you will learn how to play Sunshine of Your Love by Cream, a classic rock song from the 60s. This song is quite easy to play, but at the same time, you can find a lot of angles on which to challenge yourself to help you take your playing to the next level. Having said that, let's get started. But before doing that, let me remind you to subscribe to the channel. I don't like to say these things, but it would really help me if you did. And it doesn't cost you anything. You start with D major played like this, two, 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 five. And you strum it twice. Then you strum C, and then again D. Everything down. All together, three, four. Pay attention to the fact that each chord is short and punchy. It's this and not this. I mean, it won't be the end of the world if you play it like I just did, but if you want to take your playing to the next level, try to do it properly. You carry on and you have five, four, three, two, five, two. On fret five, F, I'm adding a bit of vibrato, like this. This is the movement that I'm doing. You can also add a bit of vibrato on the last note if you want. In fact, this is something that I do sometimes. Anyway, all together, one and two and three. You have rests in between the first four notes. So it's this and not this. Again, it's a small difference, but it's worth pointing it out. Let's play the riff one more time. One and two and three. Now, let me show you how to play this, adding left hand muting. Like this. One and two and three. I'm strumming everything, but I'm only letting the note that I want ringing out. This technique makes this line sound more powerful, but it can be challenging. One more time, one and two and three. Anyway, give it a go. You can find a tutorial on this in the description. Now let's put the two parts you learned so far together. Three, four. One more time. Three, four. This is basically the main riff of the song. For the right hand, I'm using the thumb for the fourth and the third string. The index for the second string and the middle finger for the first string. But you can just use the thumb and it will still work. This riff is played throughout the entire song and you can notice a lot of variations in the original recording. An easy variation would be this. You're playing the last three notes of the riff an octave higher. And so you have 5A, 5. For example, in the verse, they repeat the riff four times. What you can do is play the main one for the first and the second time. Then the one with the variation for the third time, and then for the last time, you go back to the main one. After the main riff is repeated four times, they change chords. In fact, they go from D to G, but the riff is the same, just a fourth up. So you have G, G, F, G, 10, 9, 8, 7, 10, 7. All together, 3, 4, After this, they go back to the main riff, which they repeat twice, and then they play the chorus. In the chorus, they play A, C, and G. This is the pattern. Three, four, down, up, down, stop, stop, down, stop, down, stop. And again. 
again. Three, four, A. Stop, stop. C, stop. G, stop. These stops, rests are quite important, so follow them when playing. This part is repeated three times, and then you end the chorus with two measures of A. The rhythm is this. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, down, down. One more time. Three, four. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, down, down. This is not the easiest groove to play, and if you want, you can simplify it. For example, three, four. Down, up, down, up, down. with you this doesn't make a huge difference so see which one works better for you now you know how to play the entire song before the play along let me tell you that this song has a great guitar solo if you want work it out by ear or improvise it using the d minor pentatonic scale or the d blue scale if you like a tutorial for the solo let me know in the comments Another thing, once you learn this song, add your own twist to it. In fact, this is the typical song that would benefit from variations from time to time. And now let's have a play along at 115 BPM, which is the tempo of the song. I will be playing the verse and the chorus. Having said that, get ready, you're about to start playing. The aim of this tutorial was to teach you how to play Sunshine of Your Love by Cream. Learn it, post your video on social media and tag me. I will reshare all your videos in my stories. On my Patreon page, you can find the tabs at the backing tracks that you need to practice this riff. You have three backing tracks, one at the original tempo, one slower and another one even slower. And one more thing, don't forget that if you learned something from this video and you would like to say thank you, you can buy me a coffee, link in the description. That's all for now. Let me know in the comments if you managed to learn this riff. If you want to take your playing to the next level, have a look at my free course here on YouTube and download my free A-step roadmap, link in the description, that will tell you the exact process to follow to learn the ukulele. Moreover, check out the other links in the description to learn more about the types of classes that I've got available at the moment. If you're into rock music, subscribe to my channel and follow the hashtag at Ukerocks on Instagram. And don't forget to check out the series at Ukerocks to learn how to play some of the most iconic rock songs on the ukulele. Having said that, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next week. Ciao!